Hello guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another update video. The latest update for Apex Legends just went live and includes a whole bunch of new things to look at in the Thrill Seekers event. I'm going over the entire of what's new in the update. Let's jump straight into it. We have a new arena's map called Overflow. Overflow differs from other arena maps by being lane focused, where each location is separated by tall lava filled structures. With this separation, players cannot easily spot early decisions made by the other team and will need to stay vigilant before committing to a side or risk being flanked. While there is opportunities for long range engagement, combat tends to favour short to medium ranges along either Overlook or Slope. Overlook is a long open area with a central interior that gives a height advantage. While this area is perfect for snipers or DMRs, players may want to hold the interior to control not only this area but their flank as well. Slope, as the name implies, offers both a high ground and a unique area where players can slide down to remote parts of the map. This area can be used for sneaky flanks or defensive setups where players may not expect it. Overflow feels pretty different from other maps and is designed to reward both defensive and aggressive players alike. Next, weekly reward tracks. These will be running for the three weeks of the event. Week 1 gives you a chance to unlock the Rampart Wasteland set, which includes a matching gun charm, weapon skin and a legendary Rampart skin. Week 2 grants Battle Pass boosters, crafting materials and Apex packs, and Week 3 includes the Lethal Enforcer Bangalore skin, along with other goodies. You can earn over 1000 points per day and challenge refreshes daily. There are also stretch challenges that reward 4 unique badges if you complete them during the event. All of these challenges also stack with your Battle Pass so you can complete multiples at once. There will also be 3 specific badges you can unlock, one for each week for reaching certain milestones in the arenas. Week 1 badge is play 20 arena games, the week 2 is get 100 knockdowns and week 3 is do 12,000 damage. Lastly, there is a summer sale on with Apex packs and some popular skins like the Youngblood and Voidwalker, and these will run until the event end in 3 weeks. That then is all of the changes in today's Apex update, including the new Apex Thrill Seeker event. Guys, if you want to see straight to the point update videos for all the biggest shooter games, no clickbait, no 10 minute videos of the same info over and over, just official news and updates as they happen, no matter how big or small, then subscribe and help the channel to grow. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye.